What's up, it's Liz, and today I'm going to be doing New Music Monday. Alright, so let's start out with the YouTuber because I found this girl recently and I honestly have fallen in love with her channel. The YouTuber I'm talking about, her name is Paige Backstage. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> she has around 400 subscribers and literally we are into the same kind of music. So if you like what I talk about, you will definitely like her channel. She also has a blog. Her Instagram is really cool because first off, she collects records, which honestly has made me want to collect records. So that's gonna be a problem with my bank account. So thanks Paige. But yeah, so this is what her Instagram looks like. It's all very circular. It's all circles and it's so cool because she does these like layout things with her records and what like matches them. I think my favorite is the Toilet Pilots one because it's like on point, look at that. Like honestly, that is on point. I'm in love with it and I'm just gonna like it. You guys should really go check her out. She's a blogger too and I was reading some of her posts and honestly, I kinda wanna start blogging to talk about music and take pictures and stuff. Hopefully there's gonna be a collab in the future and it's gonna be epic, honestly. And I don't use that word very often, which is weird. But yeah, go check out Paige backstage. Go to her channel and tell her I sent you. This girl makes me wanna collect records and I. I'm going to start blaming her for my very empty bank account. So thanks, Paige. All right, so the songs that I'm going to talk about today. I didn't have a chance to find bands, so I went with five songs that I found recently that I've actually fallen in love with. So, Let Me Be by Escape the Fate. I will play a clip of what that song sounds like. Let me be a slow song, let me be a fast, the thought rolling off your tongue. I remember someone on Tumblr mentioning this song in one of their posts. And I goes like, you know, I'll, I'll check it out, I'll listen to it. I love this song. I overplayed it. Like, I overplayed that song. <laughs> um, but it's such a great song and it's, the lyrics are just so cute. Honestly, go listen to it. The next one is by The Somersets, their new song called Figure Me Out. When they released it, I don't think I could breathe. And so once they released it, I had to copy the link to the video and send it to my two friends who are obsessed with them. So I already got tickets to go see them in April and I am so excited because they never come to Omaha. I'm really excited for this concert, but this song has made me so excited for the new album and I already pre-ordered it. Let's call it Figure Me Out. It sounds like a One Direction song at the beginning. And I'm too Hollywood to go back to my hometown Cause you think that I'm famous But I love this song. The first line I'm a little too pop for the punk kids, but I'm too punk for the pop kids. Honestly, that is me in a nutshell. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my, that's how I am, you know? But this song is great. If you haven't listened to it already, go check it out. It is such a great tune and it's... <laughs> so the next song I have is Machine by Scott Hellman. I think that's what it is. I don't know, but this song is just so soothing and so relaxing. <laughs> Push you back down, you get up again. Circuits freeze and androids never dream. You're more than a machine. Honestly, it makes me just want to go take a walk outside at night. Or drive around at nighttime with this playing. I feel like that would be just so relaxing. But I really love this song. And I recently just found it too. So, yeah. The next one is Chewing Gum by Nina Nesbitt. I think that's how you say her last name. But yeah, that is Chewing Gum by Nina Nesbitt. I was, you know how Spotify does that whole thing where um, Discover Weekly? That's where I found this song at and thank you Spotify, you are a lifesaver. I love this song and her voice is just, I love it. I think what really caught my attention was the title, was, was the title because it's called Chewing Gum. But it's a great song, you should go check it out. Um, and then the last one is Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. I'm sure a lot of you know what it is already, so I don't think I really need to play it. But that song, I... The chorus just... I am in love with that song. Mostly because it's so... Um, Death of a Bachelor is very Frank sinatra -y in a way. Um, it's also kind of sounds like a Broadway song too, which I really like because I love Broadway music. It's just his vocals in the song are incredible and it's just kind of a different tune and I just love the brass section. I just love when bands incorporate other instruments instead of the typical, you know, drums, bass, guitar, and guitar or like keyboards. 
I like it when they incorporate like different instruments from different families. So I don't know, this song is just so good and his voice just is so smooth and it's you can tell that it's like very in control when he sings. Really, Remy? Someone's home. Who's home? Oh, there goes my foot. No one's home! But yeah, I love that song. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on the video and what you'd like to see next. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put videos out one to three times a week. And you can follow me on any of my social media sites at Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Snapchat at ZBethian. It's the same way spelled on every single account. I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.